yo, it is me again. What is up, Facebook? Okay, I'm kind of getting used to this Facebook Live thing. <laughs> well, today I think I'm going to start doing like fitness tips. So I'm going to start with the first fitness tip. Fitness tip number one. When we meet with our clients, um, one of the first things that I like to discuss is I like to discuss their goals, why they're doing it, what are they trying to accomplish by it. So with all of that, to not go much more in detail, your first, 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 first thing you have to do when you're going on this journey of fitness and weight loss and fat loss, the absolute first thing you have to do is uh, set a goal of where you want to end up. Um, and then this goal is not necessarily the end though. The goal is more a target for you to know what direction you're going. So for example, if you're driving, let's just say you want to drive to Hawaii, you have a destination that I want to get to Hawaii, but I feel like the goal is just to start, but that's not where eventually what the end goal is. So I feel like with setting goals and we're trying to reach a destination, what I don't talk a lot about is that the journey is the most important part of setting a goal. So you set the goal to have some sort of motivation, something to drive you towards something, but the value is in the journey. So what I mean by that is that um, uh, the journey is who, what's going to transform you to become the person that you want to be. So as, as you're taking this lifelong journey, think of who do I want to be. Um, so for example, you can be like, I want to be more adventurous, more happier, more healthier, more active. I want to be able to travel more. I want to be able to go hiking. I want to be able to have energy to play with my kids. So those are the things that you want to be. Now, in order to become all of that, what do you have to do? And you have to know that this is not um, something that you do till you get to a certain point. Fitness and weight loss and fat loss lifestyle is something that you're going to commit to becoming for the rest of your life. So that's why I feel like I wanted to emphasize more on the journey. And now the journey, you have to fall in love with it. Um, throughout the journey, there's going to be a lot of stuff. It's like a roller coaster ride. You're going to have setbacks. You're going to have disappointments. You're going to have times that you're discouraged. You're going to have times that you're encouraged. You're going to have definitely people that are going to try to sabotage you. Not because they don't like you or they don't want you to succeed. It's because they're a little bit insecure about the changes that you're making for yourself. That they might not be able to do the things that you guys used to do together. And they feel a little bit uncomfortable with it. They want to have fun with you. Because you're awesome. That's why. <laughs> but you have to stand strong and have a goal. Know that. I need to change this for myself. So that's why we always talk about a why. So whenever you you decide, okay, I want to make this change. Um, I want to lose weight or I want to be whatever, whatever, whatever. Then you have to um, then kind of really think about why do I want to do this. Thank you, Heather. Heather said good stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, you have to think of why do I want to do this. Am I doing this because I want to look good in a bikini? And then somewhere is here, I look at the bikini in the back. Or are you doing it for a much more deeper reason? Are you doing it for like acceptance? Do you want to feel acceptance? Do you want to have more confidence so you can be more social? Do you want to feel more attractive? Do you want the way you feel on the inside to match the way you feel on the outside? Um, so those really, really, really think about those deeper things because whenever you don't feel like pressing that alarm clock, whatever that why is, is what's going to motivate you to get out of it. So before you even start on, you know, signing up for any gym or starting any nutrition plan, you need to be comfortable to know that this is a lifelong journey that's not going to be a linear approach. So a lot of us think of weight loss as like a linear approach, like I'm going to lose two pounds this week, one pound next week, two pounds, three pounds, and it's just going to keep going down. But in actuality, the whole journey looks like this, <laughs> up and down. Now, if you're doing it right, it's going to look like this. It's going to be a chart that goes like up, down, 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 up, down. That's a little bit more realistic journey. But you have to be comfortable and accept that that's what it's going to be like. Now, when we talk about journey, you really, really must fall in love. You need to be so in love with the journey that the destination doesn't even matter. The destination is just there, but you can stay in the journey forever because when you reach the destination, you're going to enjoy being in a journey so much that you won't want to stop. So when it comes to foods, really try to try new things. Try to fall in love. Try to find foods that you will enjoy eating every day, that you don't mind eating. But it starts with an open mind to try something new. 
Like I've had clients that they were just trying spaghetti squash for the first time and they've just always walked by it by the store. Somebody just trying zucchini noodles for the first time or sweet potato. Or I've, I've had clients that I've talked to that they've never tried a mango and they tried a mango and now they're in love with it. <laughs> so find things you like. For example, I don't like running. Um, but I try to find associative things that I like with it. So I like the social aspect of running. I like meeting people. I like talking to people. I like traveling. Um, and also I like nature. So I like spending time in nature, hiking. I love the trees. I love the animals. There's something awesome. So I feel like because I love all those things, I would want to run a lot for the rest of my life because it allows me to enjoy all the things that I like about it. Whether it's working out Whatever you're doing it for, whether you feel good afterwards, and whenever you work out, you have a lot of energy, you always have to hold on to the positives. Um, so that's why I'm really, really talking a lot more about the journey today than the actual goal. But you need all of it. You need the goal, and then you need to really accept that this is a lifelong lifestyle that I'm going to do. Um, all of the nutrition plans that we do, I always have in mind that Anything that we do needs to be something that can be sustained long term. Um, whether you're adding a supplement, whether you're doing paleo, whether you're doing keto, whether you're doing a detox, whether you're doing, you know, Atkins, whatever you introduce needs to be something that you're okay with doing forever. Maybe not doing it as such with a, with a high intensity, but at least some philosophy, you're going to follow the philosophy continuously every week. You might, um, you might fall off track, of course, like once or two or three times a week. But whatever that plan is, need to be part of your plan forever. So if any of you guys are starting a diet, a nutrition plan, and you don't plan on continuing with it, at least 70%, 80% of it for the rest of your life, don't even bother because I can tell you, you finish that thing, you're going to gain all the progress you made right back again. So again, keep in mind, guys. The biggest benefit from your journey is who you become in the process. Um, so yeah, so that is fitness tip number one, is the mindset stuff. Don't worry, um, the nutrition stuff and the fitness stuff, we're going to, um, workouts, all of that stuff doesn't matter if you don't have the right mindset going into this because you are going to be able to persevere for a while before something happens, an injury happens or, you know, a family member is sick or there's always going to be something happens because it's life and you can't keep postponing and stopping and taking two step back and taking one step forward and just keep in mind that the best absolute thing you can do for you and the people around you is to become the best version of yourself um, I was talking to some high school students this weekend and um, you know one of the things that I was telling them is that you know as we're growing up and I was telling them especially that they're at that age is that there's nothing, I was quoting the poem of Our Deepest Fear, which is my favorite poem. And it's saying that there's nothing enlightened about shrinking so other people won't feel insecure around you. Um, that you have to rise and let your light shine so you can improve everybody's standards. So, And we were talking about leadership. So think about if you want your kids to be fit and healthy and you want your husband or your wife or your mom, remember that... People don't only pay attention to what you're saying, they pay attention to what you're doing. So the best way to make that influence is for you to be a better example. All right, I think I talked for a long time, but that is fitness tip number one. Let me know if you guys have any questions and then uh, post on the comments below and I'll be happy to chime in and then respond. Thank you guys, have a nice night. Remember, no matter how little your light is, let it shine because you're in a room full of darkness and you light up a small candle, it's going to brighten up the room. <laughs> Rise and let your light shine, everyone. Peace.